Charak, the ancient Ayurvedic physician, believed that the wise should not accept anything without investigation. These wise words of Charak have been the guiding principles driving the health research discourse of Indian Council of Medical Research. The conflict between health and diseases has been eternal. Good health brings happiness and diseases bring sickness and death. Back in 1911, when M.K. Gandhi was yet to become a Mahatma and New Delhi was 20 years away from being named capital of India, Indian Research Fund Association, or IRFA, was born with the mandate to promote medical research in the country. IRFA was renamed as Indian Council of Medical Research, or ICMR, in 1949. With pan-India presence through its affiliated institutes and field stations, Today, ICMR is the apex body in biomedical research in India. All of them are tirelessly working together to overcome fatal human diseases through path-breaking research. When tuberculosis was a threat, the scientists at ICMR tested and validated DOTS, which has cured millions of patients suffering from TB. When leprosy struck millions, ICMR scientists tested the multidrug therapy with success. When diarrheal diseases become a leading cause of child death and suffering, ICMR facilitated and scale up for low-cost oral rehydration therapy and successfully worked on an indigenous vaccine for rotavirus-related diarrhea. When malaria became an everyday fear, ICMR tested new drugs and diagnostics and demonstrated bioenvironmental approaches to control malaria. From landmark studies in the area of nutrition, like double fortification of cooking salt with iron and iodine, assessment of nutritive values of Indian foods, micronutrient supplement formulations to design, plan, monitor and evaluate cancer registry activities under the National Cancer Registry Program. Other areas under non-communicable diseases included INDIAB study for diabetes and hypertension. With the growing human population, new drug-resistant strains have also emerged and pose serious problem in complete cure of the infections. Constant research in this area is the need of the hour. ICMR has created a network of antimicrobial resistance network to monitor drug-resistant organisms, various etiological issues and genes involved in this mechanism to help in better drug delivery and formulating appropriate drug policy. From time to time, ICMR has released guidelines on various important issues along with maintaining a clinical trial registry to improve transparency and accountability. ICMR has played an integral role in touching lives of every Indian in more ways than one. Development of commercial diagnostic kits against dengue and chikungunya. Direct agglutination test for early diagnosis of Kalazar. Development of vaccine against Kyasanur forest disease and Japanese encephalitis. Affordable glucometer and strips for diabetes. Magnifying device for cervical cancer screening. Personal protective equipment for salt workers. And these are only a few examples. With the changing global scenario, ICMR is well equipped to deal with the emerging and re-emerging diseases with advanced and state-of-the-art laboratories and research facilities with the highest and most stringent biosafety levels. Moreover, ICMR supports and nurtures the best scientific minds in the country by providing ample opportunities through fellowships, grants, training programs and infrastructure support. ICMR has been ensuring that India is at par with its research across the world, leaving no stone unturned. Over the years, ICMR has collaborated with widely renowned international institutes for disease prevention and healthcare. The new initiatives of ICMR, like India TB Research Consortium, Malaria Elimination Project, Antimicrobial Resistance Surveillance Network, India Africa Health Platform, etc are in line with ICMR's mission of promoting better health in India through research. All these years, with ceaseless efforts and dogged determination, health research has supported government programs, which has resulted in increasing the life expectancy, 
eradicating the diseases like polio, neonatal tetanus, guinea worm, and have helped in controlling many diseases. And behind this determination lies a belief that development and economic growth of a nation depends on the well-being of its citizens. In future as well, ICMR is committed to strengthen its research to a new direction with an aim to translate the leads emerging out from research to action for benefit to the society, as well as help in introduction of affordable indigenous technologies into health system. The ICMR Strategic Plan 2017-24 to will prove to be a roadmap and guide in achieving short, medium and long-term health goals.